morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day it's a Thursday morning just after nine o'clock and it's food pantry day so I'm I just got out of the morning food pantry so I will show you what we received uh, we did I did walk out with a little more than expected um, so I'll show you that and uh, yeah and then later on I go to the second food pantry but right now I'm going to head over to Tractor Supply and then head on home. So stay tuned. And it's a very cloudy day. It's going to be a little windy. It already is. So another nice fall day. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so I am home from the morning pantry. I went to Tractor Supply, and I got some, uh, at Tractor Supply, I got some black oiled sunflower seeds for the birds. Um, I'm totally out of bird food. I think I have a couple peanuts left, but I do allot myself a little bit of money to buy at least the cheapest, you know, bang for your buck, uh, black oiled sunflower seeds, and some peanuts sometimes for like the blue jays and woodpeckers. Um, I will not give up feeding my birds. So, <laughs> so yeah, they have a good deal at Tractor Supply. Uh, 40 pounds of black oil sunflower seeds for $22.99 or something like that. So, that's, and I figured I was on the south side, so I would go afterwards. So, anyway, here is the morning food pantry haul. <laughs> I just get yapping away. So, all right, so we got an... Uh, it's always a blessing, always a blessing, but we got an extra blessing this week. So I'll explain that to you here in a second. But we did get a pound of spaghetti noodles, which is good. If you have, there are certain things in the house, if you have, you're set. If you just, you may not have the most extravagant food in the house, but if you have certain staples in the house, you're going to eat. You're going to be set. So spaghetti is one of them. Beans is another. A pound of beans, pinto beans. So always good to have on hand. Okay, so going over here, we got another pack of white donuts. Uh, for our meat, we got a pound of ground beef. And you probably already saw other meat there, and I'll explain why I have so much meat from there. We got a bag of uh, kettle-cooked original potato chips. And canned goods, okay, oh, I forgot to tell you what was in the box and what I put back. So let me backtrack just a second. Spaghetti was in the box already, kept that. Pinto beans were in the box. Um, this is my choice of uh, meat because I said it's so versatile. Donuts were in the box. Kettle chips were in the box. And toiletries, you always just pick one thing out a week. So I got more body wash. So just getting a good stock up on body wash. Okay, the two canned goods. I have lima beans and green beans. Green beans were in the box. I kept them. This I traded out for. Um, I put back a can of spaghetti sauce and a can of pork and beans or something. And I took a can of lima beans instead. So I put two back, got one, and that's okay. So lima beans is something we use when we make beef stew with tomato juice and everything, and we put lima beans in it. I don't usually keep a good stock on lima beans, and that's okay because the only time we ever use it is for stew, and we don't make stew that often. Um, but now that winter and fall are here, it's time for like slow cooker meals, soups, and things like that. So I wasn't sure if we had a can of lima beans on stock uh, for the next next batch of uh, beef stew. So when I saw that, I grabbed it. So I traded in two cans, took one. All right, like I said, green beans were already in there. All right, so you see extra meat here. So we have two pounds of grass-fed ground chuck uh, basically almost the same as ground beef, I guess. I don't know what the difference between ground beef and ground chuck are. Maybe it's just different part of the 
cow i don't know so we got two extra pounds of ground chuck and two grass fed sirloin strips two of them look at that now the reason i took these home i didn't grab them she gave them to me um while i was getting my toiletry item the lady that works there leah went into the refrigerator or the freezer for something and she noticed it was left open a little bit so it wasn't closed all the way so meat started thawing out so one of these they were all cold when she gave them to me everything was still cold and some stuff was still frozen one of the ground beefs were thawed out but was cold and one of them was still partially frozen and the two sirloins were thawed out but cold they were cold when she gave them to me so yeah these sirloins are $13.99 for that small strip can't believe it the other one is 15 and $13 for this ground chuck and yeah both of them are 13 so look how much money is right there they all come from a market called wood lake market in the town of kohler wisconsin uh kohler is named after uh if you hear of kohler uh toilets and things like that they make all that stuff it's in the next town over and wood lake market is like a kind of uh ritzy market <laughs> uh in the town of kohler so all this meat comes from there but yeah, so she, as she was filling out the meat to see if it was thawed or frozen, she said, here, take some meat. It's already thawing out. It's already thawed out. I don't want it to go bad. Just take some. So she gave me all this extra meat. So what a blessing that is. So what I'm going to do, since it's thawed out already, tonight we're going to grill out again these sirloins. I think I'm going to have one this time. Uh, it's not ribeye, but nonetheless, it's it's steak, sirloin. So I'm going to have one. They're not that big. At first, my other part to this is right now, after I'm done with this haul, I'm going to quick make some a pot of chili. Actually, I'm going to make two. I feel like having my style. He likes his style. So I'm going to use a pound of ground beef in each. And we'll have that for lunch. Tonight for supper, we'll grill out the steaks and then tomorrow for lunch and supper we'll still eat chili and then whatever's left of all the chili i'm going to freeze for another time that's why i figured i'll just go ahead and put a pound in each one so i had to quick go to the store and get some chili sauce see that's why i like to keep stocked up on certain items if i was doing it like i was in the past i would have had stock up on it but i had to go to the store and get it but Nonetheless, benefits to doing it both ways, weekly or monthly shopping. Anyway, that's what's going on. <laughs> so now I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to quick make Glenn's pot of chili because I still have to go to the afternoon pantry about one close to 1.30. So I'll make his. When I come back, I'll make mine. I'm not too worried about eating right now because I've just got a lot to do right now. Okay, so that is our morning food pantry haul and what a blessing it it turned out to be well it's always like i said it's it's always a blessing but when you get extra meat like this it's an extra blessing <laughs> so so all right i'm gonna put this stuff away so i can get cooking the chili all right everyone so i didn't i'm not filming the whole thing on how i make glenn's uh, chili because i've done it so many times before in the past so right now i have my spaghetti noodles all boiled up they're done and i threw uh tossed out some water so i have water just laying over the layer of spaghetti so now i'm going to put my ground beef and onion in there i cooked up one pound of that uh ground chuck rather and uh I'm just going to make mine <laughs> when I come back from the second pantry. After I make this, I'm going to take some out to Glenn, and that's going to give me a little bit of sitting down time before I go to the pantry, because when I come back, I'll make my chili, uh, record the pantry haul, and then it, it actually will be almost time for supper. <laughs> 
All right, so I've got that mixed in there. And then I'm going to put in two jars of chili sauce. Now, I know I said I was going to get the Kroger brand, uh, but I didn't. I was, I was in kind of a hurry because this was kind of a spur of the moment thing that we're doing here or I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, I'll still get one, see if he likes it. But I know his chili sauce is going to be pretty prone to st sticking with Heinz. Just dump some water in there. Get all that chili sauce out of there. And I even dump it in a second time to get the rest out. There, now it's all pretty much clear. Rinse them out and recycle them. You could actually probably use these as like a single flower jar. Or just a couple stems of flowers. Take the labels off. Huh. Just a thought. Had to make sure they're chilly. Not, not cocktail sauce. <laughs> a little too late to look though. I already dumped it. So now we're just going to throw in a can of tomato soup. And you can do the same with that. Put it in the water. And I'm using the same water I boiled the spaghetti noodles in. Chili. He's going to have some chili beans in his. And then last thing is Rotel noodles. Or <laughs> Rotel noodles. Rotel tomatoes. We used to, years ago, used to put hot tomatoes from Red Gold. The brand Red Gold. But over time, they changed them, and it didn't taste as good anymore. So now you just got to mix it. So this is all Glenn's chili. And on the side, I'm going to give him a little cup of uh, shredded cheddar and pepper jack cheese. And he'll probably want some crackers with the butter and strawberry jam on them as well. So while I'm fixing those, I'll put this back on the stove to simmer a little bit. Get it hot. All right. So like I said, whatever he doesn't eat after tomorrow night, I can freeze for another day of chili. All right. So there's Glenn's chili. And I'm just going to make his crackers. I'll be back later when I uh, come back from the pantry. All right, everyone. So here is Glenn's chili and his crackers with butter and strawberry jam, shredded uh, cheddar and pepper jack cheese. So I'm going to take this out to him. I might even have a cup of this. I just tasted it and it does taste good. So I might have a cup of that before I go to the pantry. So stay tuned for the next food pantry haul. All right, everyone, time to go to the second food pantry. And uh, I was sitting at my computer desk and uh, I was dozing off. So, so yeah, I'll, as soon as I come back, I think I'm gonna have something to eat, some chili maybe. And then uh, I might even uh, go down for a little nap. So, all right, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so it is 2.30 and I am finally sitting down to eat lunch. I am just having some chili that I made and same crackers that I gave Glenn. 
So there's been a little change of plans on how we're going to do that other pound of ground beef. So after I eat, I'll tell you about it. So stay tuned for that. Right now, I'm going to eat my chili. I'm going to watch a fall movie on Hallmark on Friendly TV and just enjoy some sit down time. So stay tuned. All right, everyone. So <laughs> it's almost five o'clock now. I've got, uh, I just put some baked potatoes in the oven for this, those sirloin steaks we got this morning. Put them on, I'm going to put those on the grill. I got the baked potatoes in the oven. And earlier I said that we're going to, we had a change of plans of what we're going to do with the second pound of ground chuck, which is this. I was going to make another pot of chili my way, but I ended up eating a cup for lunch of the way I made it for Glenn. And I'm just going to leave that chili that <laughs> I was thinking when I was coming back from the pantry, I was thinking to myself, oh, I should just make some hamburger patties or something with the other pound because I didn't feel like making another uh, pot of chili at that time. <laughs> so, and again, just Glenn and I uh, thinking the same way. I came home, I said... I wish I didn't have to cook uh, another pot of chili now. <laughs> and he actually had the same thoughts of, you know, not that I couldn't have my own chili, but uh, more so he said, why don't you just make some hamburger patties with it, fry them on the grill with the sirloin steaks, and then just bring them inside, put them in beer, and tomorrow we'll just have them. So works perfect for me. <laughs> Yep, that's perfect for me. I'm making the hamburger patties. I'll grill. I'll put them on the grill with the sirloin steaks. And then overnight they'll just sit in beer. And we'll just have them tomorrow. So yeah, that's basically all the change there was. I'm not making a, a separate pot of chili. We're both eating off the pot I made. And uh, there's plenty more for tomorrow. We had it for lunch. There's plenty for tomorrow. And we'll have these hamburger, uh, beer hamburgers. So there'll be plenty of food for tomorrow. And I don't have to cook nothing else. So in the end, it works out for me where I don't have to cook tomorrow. <laughs> I still haven't recorded the second grocery haul. After I ate my uh, cup of chili, I was, I was just feeling so tired. I'm all, oh, I just need a nap. And not that I was doing anything tiring. I just had a bad night's sleep. It wasn't horrible. It was just a lot of off and on sleep. So I was just kind of tired from that too. So, but yeah, after I ate my chili, I was going to start recording the haul. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to take a little nap. And I slept for over an hour, a little over an hour. And believe me, that felt really good. So I feel much more rejuvenated right now. Like I could do more stuff now. Before it was just like, oh, dreading it. So, all right. I'm going to put that in there somewhere. All right, so got the hamburger patties. I'm going to go outside, start up the grill again. Um, and hopefully it doesn't rain on me. I thought it was supposed to rain this afternoon sometime, but it is pretty dark day, cloudy, just how I like it. Hey everyone, I'm just standing in the backyard waiting for the charcoal to get hot. So yeah, what a beautiful fall day. So cloudy and windy today, cold. I'm all bundled up in my hoodie, but I am in shorts. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I'm just back here taking it all in oh, I just love this standing outside on a beautiful cloudy fall day should have some hot chocolate or a hot drink of some sort yeah I love fall all right I'm gonna go back and check on the charcoal should be almost ready but Alrighty, you can hear the red-bellied woodpecker in the background. Alright, we'll let them eat for the night.
All right, everyone. So here's our supper for this Thursday night, a complete food pantry meal. Uh, the sirloin steaks we got this morning, the can of corn and the potatoes were from the pantry. So yeah, this looks delicious. That's baked potato, sirloin steak and canned corn. Uh, can't wait to dig in. So stay tuned for the second food pantry haul. All right, everyone, so uh, we've eaten our supper now. So just to summarize what we have left for food for tomorrow, um, I could see that I don't have to cook tomorrow <laughs> unless I make breakfast or something. So what we have left over here are three hamburger patties uh, sitting inside a bottle of beer, and that's the Hot Logic uh, dish. So in the morning, I'll just plug it in so it'll be done by afternoon. Uh, and then for our supper tonight, we had those sirloin steaks. We each had one. I didn't finish mine, so I still have half a steak left. Uh, we've got some, uh, corn left. So that's a meal in itself for me. I can make another baked potato or something. So that's, uh, something I can have for tomorrow. And then I made that chili today. So we have a half a pot of chili left. So I think we have plenty of food for tomorrow where I don't have to cook anymore. So I think uh, tomorrow's going to be a no cooking day for me. So let me put this stuff away and then I will go over the second food pantry haul. Okay, everyone. So here is our second food pantry haul of the day. Uh, this is the afternoon food pantry. So this again is another walk-in where we choose from different sections as to what we want. Um, I'm going to show you the produce first because it's all sitting on paper towel, uh, drying off. I had to wash everything off because there was a rotten potato in the bag and it kind of got all over everything. So uh, let me show you the produce first. Okay, so over here we got a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper. Uh, there were four potatoes. One was rotten basically rotten to the center <laughs> um, but all the stuff from being rotten got all over everything so I had to wash everything off and there's eight clem clementines here but I actually left four with Glenn in the trailer so he they we actually got 12 so those are the clem that's the produce we got and let's go over everything else so we got this uh, six pack of hard rolls, just basically rolls that you can use for hamburgers or sandwiches or whatever. So we got that and that's a part of why we made the hamburger patties. We thought to just use these rolls for it. And then we also got an uncut loaf of white bread. We They have this often there. We got this pack of Purdue. Uh, there's five individually wrapped chicken breast in there, so that's good. And we got this apple coffee cake. <laughs> I just made that apple bread the other day. Now we got an apple coffee cake. It looks good. Over here, we have a pack of nacho blend with jalapeno peppers. It's a blend of Monterey Jack with jalapeno peppers and cheddar cheese. So we got that. And we got this box of dark chocolate brownie mix. And as you can see over here, we got some more Lucky Charms. So with uh, almost time for Glenn to come in the house, that's the time he eats cereal the most is when he's in the house for the winter. So that's a large box of Lucky Charms. And then over here, we got two cans of sweet peas. We got a can of cream of mushroom. And a can of beef broth. And a can of pure pumpkin. And our weekly roll of toilet paper. So that is everything we received at the afternoon food pantry. So definitely... Uh, so blessings for uh, both food pantries and anytime you get meat and produce and breads and basically everything, everything is essential here. 
um, and we are definitely going to use everything. So, all right, so a lot of blessings for us today. Um, we had the, the sirloin steaks, uh, e extra ground beef we received this morning, so it was a, a blessing plus. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I truly appreciate all the support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.